Welcome back to Thy and I Play Stardew Valley Expanded. And oh my gosh, today is the day of the Stardew Valley Fair, and it's finally not raining. We get more, yet more battery packs, though. So it's been raining and thunderstorming for the like past four days straight. So we got plenty of battery packs. We got that level up that'll allow us to make crystallariums. Uh, but we're not going to worry about the crystallariums right now. We are worrying about the Stardew Valley Fair. Do we have to water any crops? No, we don't have to water any crops. That's fantastic. We can just pluck these two eggplants and turn them into seeds. So you may be wondering what we are bringing to the fair with us. And the astute observers, the observationists of you may have noticed that when we picked up those battery packs, we didn't actually put them in an empty slot, which means we must have one in our inventory already. And you are correct. One of the items we are bringing to the Stardew Valley Fair are battery packs. I will show off now what we are bringing. We are bringing a gold ancient fruit, a diamond, an iridium purple mushroom, an iridium orange, a battery pack, squid ink, a gold super cucumber, and an iridium midnight carp, as well as this strange bun. So those are the nine items that we will be bringing with us to the fair this year. And hopefully they give us something nice. Because we do get them back, so I don't mind using them. Either way, the, the fair starts in like 20 minutes, but like that's like a minute for us. So we're just going to start heading our way over there right now. And since it's a Tuesday, we're not going to worry about anything else. Start the fair. Start the fair. The Stardew Valley Fair has begun. Oh, this is great. Let's see what we can get. Uh, we can get dried sunflowers, a fedora, the rare crow, the star drop, and 100 hay. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is good. That is very, very good. That means I won't have to buy hay from Marnie for a good long while, which is fantastic. I'm going to buy all of these things. We need a total of uh, 600. Or hold on. A uh, thousand for those, three thousand, three thousand eight hundred, thirty nine hundred. So we need like forty four hundred tokens, which is interesting and a lot of tokens. But we can get that quickly enough. Robin works really hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and then. Well, let's talk to Robin and Leia. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work, because you're a sculptor. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm very proud to be part of. Well, I'm sure everyone loves that. Oh, strength training. Uh, can I do it? Hey there, kiddo. I see you eyeing someone fancy. You can't hide that from me. I, Goliath, see all. This strength game will surely impress him if you have the strength, that is. Ha <laughs> ha uh, I will do it. I can't stand on the red arrow. It doesn't, it literally doesn't let me. I can't walk onto it. There's some invisible platform. Please let me do it. I would, I want to take the strength training challenge. Oh, well, whatever. This is our Grange display. Let's put, I can use my mouse for this. It'll make it easier. I can put all of these things in and make it very pretty. The, the actual criteria to, that they use to judge those, I'm not particularly certain of, but I think it's based on how rare the item is in their like field. So like there's the foraging field, fishing, farming, mining, all that. So I'm pretty sure like the ancient fruit and the f and the orange, they might be from farming. I know this, the diamond is definitely from mining and like the, the super cucumber and the midnight carp, they're from fishing. So you wanna vary where you're drawing your items from. The big day of the festival, our most important time of the year, the fair, the Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a Grange display, I've left an empty area on the stand, an empty stand area. Yeah, it's I filled it up already. Yep, the judging. Uh, here, go ahead. I finished setting everything up. You're free to to do it. Man, Pierre selling crops that I'm pretty sure I gave him. Well, maybe not. Good luck. Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside his best-looking produce for weeks in preparation. I have to go to get Jody's 
uh, uh, sapling seeds, uh, tea saplings. I need to make sure that's a, I need to do that. Sophia, wow, you have nothing but wine. I wonder who will win. Well, certainly not. Wow, and Susan as well. You're stealing my idea with the stupid mushrooms. It's a shame we can't all be winners. Everyone works so hard. And Andy, well, here goes nothing. Good luck to you, farmer. Good luck to you as well, Andy. Shooting Comet Cocktail. Oh, I would love a Shooting Comet Cocktail. This festival is making me thirsty. Everyone is doing really well, except for Clint. Screw Clint. I hate Clint. I hate that guy. Marnie! Well, I didn't win, but it was uh, still satisfying. Lewis, did I win? I won first place with a rating of 103. That is a thousand stars. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, that is great. That is great. That's going to make the gambling so much easier. Let's get everything back, and I will use the mouse again because I don't want to worry about anything else. Uh, da, 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 super quick. And then put that back. Okay. Uh, excuse the clicking, but it's a necessity. Now, if you didn't know, this is how we're going to make our millions. But we are also going to talk to people. Penny, I wonder the wheel of... I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row, and now the man won't let me play anymore. That is uh, unfortunate for you. Haley, been to the fortune teller? Uh, no, I'm probably not. I don't believe in that malarkey. Are you enjoying the fair? I am. That clown is only juggling one ball. How odd. Well, he does have balloons in the other, so... If he's using one ball, is it really counting as juggling, or is it just throwing it up and down? Well, hey, I'm just taking a quick break from moving these barrels. Can you believe I'm only getting paid 300 G an hour for this? Is that not a lot? I don't actually know whether or not 300 G an hour would be a lot, considering I could sell a bunch of mushrooms from outside my house and make that in, in like six seconds. It's probably not a lot in that case. I'm going to bet, see what I do for this, green is the way to go always like you just bet bet everything on green it's like a 70 30 chance in your favor that is if you pick green so i always just bet like half my money every time on green that way i'll always win i'll always come out on top so i'm just going to bet on green a bunch of times this time i'm going to bet like 700 there, 773, and we're just going to uh, bet on green again. Hopefully, hopefully get green. Stop, 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 and of course, of course we get orange. Oh, we're going to, uh, we're going to bet 400 this time. It's always wise, I think, to bet around half of your star total, so you're not completely SOL up the creek, you know, if you uh, do manage to get the orange like I did, because of course... But uh, I'm just going to go until I get, like, what? I think I said 44, so I'm going to go until I get, like, uh, 5,000 stars, hopefully. Hopefully that won't take too long. I'm just, go I'm literally just going to sit here, bet half my things, and just keep going until, until we win. Until we get everything. It won't take not but a moment for you. You'll be like, oh my gosh, how did he get all of those? Stop. Fantastic. I'll, I'll see you guys un momento, because can't time time doesn't continue time is at a complete standstill at the fair so little bonus to that all right with that i think we have all of the tokens that we need it didn't take long at all it took like an extra four spins very simple and easy to do but with that i think we have everything i'm going to buy the dried sunflowers i'm going to get the fedora the rare crow the light green rug 100 bits of hay and our beloved star drop a mysterious fruit that empowers those who eat it the flavor is like a dream a powerful personal experience yet difficult to describe to others 250 energy and 112 health but we get to eat it right away Oh my gosh, our energy is through the roof. That is going to be good for various things in the future. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of mints. Oh, oh, I'd kill for some mints right about now. I do love mints. But yeah, that's uh, we don't need to do anything else at the festival. We'll talk to Sebi, Sam, and uh, 
uh, uh, the, the purple haired girl whose name is escaping me. It's kind of hectic today. I'm just going to hang out here for a while. Hey, Din, having a good time? Oh, heck yeah. I have had hardcore narcotic star fruit. Well, not star. Rebecca. Hi there. My name is Rebecca. I'm a friend of these two dorks here. I live in Zuzu City and I came for the festival. Oh, you're not Abigail. You're Rebecca. Sebastian's motorcycle. Why would you bring your motorcycle out here? You live like two minutes up the road. We cleared our, our Grange display. Uh, I should, I suppose, talk about what else is here. Uh, this is, um, sure, why not? I can spend $50 and show this off, I think. How do I play this? Oh, uh, where, um, okay, I have to use my mouse for this apparently, uh, because, okay. It's a slingshot game. If you've ever played Ocarina of Time and played the slingshot game, I am not prepared to do this in the slightest. I am not good at it. took me forever to do the slingshot game and uh, 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 Ocarina, my brain is focusing on too many things. Like getting all of these stupid things. I am not good at this. Especially because I can't use my controller. I apparently have to use the mouse, and that's unexpected, and that threw me off. Hopefully that didn't cause any technical issues, because I think I clicked out of the game at some point. How many did I get? My accuracy was 76, which, I mean, is a lot better than I was expecting. So do I get 90 star tokens, which, I mean, is pretty bad, but, well, it is what it is. Uh, in terms of other things, this is a fishing minigame, so you can just pay some money, go in and fish, and that's pretty easy. I'm not going to do it because I don't need to and I don't want to fish. And then this place, you can just exchange your money for tokens, uh, 50 gold per token, which is uh, atrocious in terms of conversion rate, but if you wanted to, if you have an ab or an abundance of money, you could. But uh, uh, I might as well show what's up top, just because I can. Just because I can. It's the fair. I might as well. Who are you? Uh, just a tourist. 4,000 calories worth of food? Totally freaking worth it. Barbecue sauce to die for. Gus, eat as much as you like. It's all free to today. Compliments of Mayor Lewis. Oh, well, in that case, uh, one burger, two burger, three burger, four burger, five burger, and then one more burger for good luck. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I just stuffed my face with six burgers. I want that recipe as well. Ah, oh, George, you have a nice hat. Smoked turkey haunch. Oh, this is pretty, that is pretty nice. Maru, barbecue sauce is amazing. I wish I had some barbecue. Ah, now I'm hungry. I really need to go get some lunch after this. But again, that's future me's problem. So that was good. I got enough food to feed an army. And we can finish up the festival today. That was... That was remarkably good. Um, and our rare crow is pretty nice. Let's get 15 more cranberries. Right, yeah. And then we can put everything away because uh, we don't need any of that. Super cucumbers, that can go away. Everything iridium, those can go away. Uh, the battery and this can go away. We can put the diamond and the fruit away. Actually, we're going to put Nope, stop that. That's very, that's very in your face, isn't it? <laughs> no, we're going to put, we're going to put the fedora on because that's hilarious and it's time for a new hat. And we can put the stupid cup away because now we have very pr pretty flowers, which is nice. And we don't need the rare car right now, so that can stay in there. And we have enough hay to feed the chickens for a long, long time, which is fantastic. What does this buff do? Oh, because of the, because those are actually survival burgers, you actually get the buff for foraging. I didn't know that. That's hilarious. That is pretty, pretty funny. Uh, yeah, change the orientation and put them down. That's nice. Let's go outside and put uh, more cranberries in. That'll be good. That'll take care of those. Absolutely. 
and then we will wrap this day up and then go straight into the next two days because it is a festival so you guys of course get two full days i wouldn't want to deprive you and i'm not going to and it's not raining again which is fantastic are there any crops to get there are no crops it looks like which is fine let's go feed the chickens because we do need to feed the chickens and get oh bro that's fantastic hopefully Hopefully we can start with the row. We can get a lot of it. Super cucumber row and sturgeon row. I'm pretty, I'm not, you know, be completely honest. I'm not entirely sure if different types of row from different fish count, like, like doesn't count. Like you need 15 sturgeon row exclusively. I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. I reserve the right to be wrong, because I very much could be wrong. But I'm not... I don't think so. I've never actually tried it, so... It could be completely talking out my butt, but... My butt butt. My butt's butt. But I don't think I am. Um, how many is that? That's eight. So we're slowly but surely working our way up the row count. But um, let's go... Oh, it's a very good luck day today. That means we are absolutely going through the mines, and it's a Wednesday, so let's get this ancient fruit because we absolutely do need the ancient fruit. Very close to level 9. So let's put them back, or, well, this one in there. Up to 24 now, so that's pretty good. Oh, I forgot to do that today. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, it's okay if I miss one day. It doesn't matter. Let's go put this uh, random... Uh, thingamabob in there. Actually, I'm going to go get the material that I need for uh, the bombs. I'm going. I'm going right back into the mines to get those solar essences that we need. So I need the bombs, the cherry bombs, those five essences, uh, forty gold. And 10 dark essences, which is good. That's everything we need for that. And then we'll be good to go once we have all that. So let's, now we'll go into town. And I'm pretty sure I remember what to do with the strange bun. I think. Because if I remember correctly, The one above Clint's workshop is the super cucumber, and the one in Gus's is the duck mayo. 9 a.m. All right, well, I'll do one fish. So let's see what this stupid fish is. Because we do eventually need to get 10 on the fishing level, so I wonder what this will be. It'll be a perfect catch, because I am the best fisherman in the world. Well, it's a gold smallmouth bass, and it's still not... You know what? It's 9 o'clock, so we'll we'll waste a little bit of energy. Go, go. Open the door. Open the door. Fantastic. This is the wrong house. <laughs> I meant to... <laughs> Jody, I need to talk to your child. Um... Oh, no. All right, fine. We'll do that at a later date, I suppose. Fine, whatever. You put you put the secret bun in his secret chest, and you'll get a <laughs> statue, and then that'll be that. Whatever, fine. We're going to the mines. We're getting. We are absolutely getting those last pieces. Wait, it's been a few days. We should go check out that shed. Completely forgot about that. We are going to uh, check out that shed eventually, but we are going into the mines right now. This is the chest that I had, and I put um, some things in here. We'll worry about that eventually. Uh, back to the mines. We're going to, like, floor 100, back and forth between there, and then getting those dudes. Yes, two of them. Why couldn't I have two of those dudes show up yesterday? That would have been great and lovely. And the stairs. Doubly fantastic. Only one of them dropped a solar essence, though, so um, that's unfortunate. Either way, we're just continuing forth and destroying more creatures. So I'll see you when I'm done with them. Ooh, a diamond. 
look at how much that shoots up our mining exp that's fantastic especially at level nine every diamond helps that's very good uh we're up to eight now that i suppose now that i'm checking in i should check in we're up to eight solar essences we just need two more unfortunately it's taking forever to find those stupid things squid kids or the metal helmet bros because they both drop solar essences either way that's our little uh hourly check-in i suppose we will continue onwards and hopefully the next time i check in will be when i have 10 solar essences Ooh, this is new i should talk about this we're just the next floor down uh still at eight but this is a what you call it a mushroom floor this floor is absolutely chocked full of mushrooms which is uh interesting i don't think i've ever seen one in this particular series yet so let's get rid of that for those and the slime we don't need the slime uh and because we have iridium every one of these mushrooms is going to be gorgeous iridium quality mushrooms so that's even fantastic it's a pretty rare thing that can happen but every so often when you're mining you'll come across one of these floors where everything oh squid kid yes gold bar nice i'll take that get rid of you know what give me let me eat this small mouth bash because we don't need that anymore every so often you'll come across a mushroom cave and that's good so we just need one more solar essence hopefully hopefully we can find the, the exit to this floor soon and we can just uh find another thing right on the next floor oh please 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 let that work out it doesn't look like it's going to work out i don't see anything that'll give me an essence nope just another mushroom all right i will that was another update for something interesting so i'll see you when i have the stupid 10th solar essence Oh, there's the dude. That's the last one that we need. Now, so long as he drops a solar essence, we're good. Come on, dude. Come on. Yes. That's the 10 that we need. Can we make all of them? I just need to be able to make 10 of them. Yes. 10 of them. That's fantastic. Uh, the Adventurer's Guild is still open, so let's go straight there. Well, do we see it? Ugh. There's another stair. All right, fine. I'll go down one more floor. And if there's anything interesting... Okay, I'm kind of glad because this is another mushroom floor. Which, I mean, I am not against in any way, shape, or form. I am all for... And another staircase. All right, fine. I'm glad I kept going because uh, mushroom floors are particularly good and useful. Uh, we don't need this fire quartz. Not in spite of four extra... You know what? Screw you. Screw you for showing up right now. And screw you for giving giving me one of those. I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of the crab. Uh, we'll be able to get more crabs. The good kinds of crabs. The kinds that you can eat. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting out of here now. After I break those. Alright, that's good. Uh, Marlin! Oh, Marlin! I did your thing. Oh, oh nice! Nice! Oh, oh nice! Prehistoric skull! I'm going to drop these off to Marlin really quick. And then we'll see what he gives me. Marlin, here you go. Uh, nope. <laughs> Buttons. Alright, there you go, Marlin. I have all of your thing. $8,000? Nice! That is very nice. Thank you, Marlin. Eight grand for some explosives. That's pretty good. And we got a prehistoric skull, which is very good uh yeah we can leave those there either way back to our home where we can wrap up the day with a little seed making actually though what do i need to make seed makers i think i just need gold bars and coal and wood all right i'm going to make four more seed makers and then just start really hammering out a bunch of seeds because that would be very good for us so give me a minute i'll sort the inventories start making more things for the seed makers and then we can wrap up this day and then we'll go straight into tomorrow oh this is interesting look at this i was putting in 
um, melons to get melon seeds, and one of them popped out an ancient seed, which is absolutely a possibility. I think it's like a 2% chance, but if you're doing a lot of seed making, that is an effective way of getting ancient seeds. So absolutely worth, worth your time. That's a good way of getting ancient seeds. I'm going to continue on though with more seed making with these peppers and corn. And then again, it's only 940 right now, so I will, I'll see you again when I'm done. Now that I don't need to explain the fact that you can get ancient seeds from seed makers. Or well, at least not show it in action. Either way, uh, continuing. All right, so I'm wrapping up our seed making bonanza and we are making blueberries and ancient fern seeds. I did make all of the ancient ferns into their seeds. So I got 12. I doubled the yield. I had six, so I made 12, which is good. And I got 18 corn seeds, some pepper seeds, melons. I turned a bunch of pumpkins back into their seeds, some hops as well. So that is very good. I made profit, I suppose. It'll be easy to uh, set those up and make, get them going. Uh, summer, summer, fall, summer, summer, fall, summer. I just like to put the seeds in the season appropriate chest just to satisfy my own OCD. It makes it easier to find, at least for me. And uh, we don't need the particular uh, strange bun, at least for right now at the very least. But I'm going to have two ancient fruits ready to go and we can finish up this day and move straight on into Thursday. Good old fashioned Thursday. Let's put both of these in and hope both of them give three so I can get six from them. But if they don't, well, I still have three more to potentially work with now. So hopefully it requires not a lot of resetting. One and three, so one and two, which is not good. So I will reset this day and get until we have, and keep going until we have six, basically. You know the drill. All right, we're back and we get cranberries and honey Everything's great. Uh, a new day of the episode. Fantastic. Water the cat, pet the bowl, and we're good. Let's get these cranberries. Even more produce for us. Oh, we're, we, are, we are creeping ever closer to level 10 farming. And that will be pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. Once that happens. <laughs> then we need to set aside $25,000 for an auto petter. Or an auto har an auto grabber, <laughs> auto petter. He says as if he's going to find anywhere near the amount of those that he wants. No, we're not going to find auto auto grabber auto petters. We're not going to be finding any auto petters anytime soon. Did we get any rewards from doing Marlin's bomb quest? I don't think we did, except that money. I mean, eight thousand is nothing to sneeze at, and it's very nice. But I was kind of hoping for something a bit more substantial but I mean who knows we can check out that shed finally we are absolutely we're going to check out the shed not going to forget about that we're going to feed the chickens and then we're going to go for the shed because I want to see what Robin did to it feed the chickens feed the chickens get more row which is good the super cucumbers give me all of the row we need a bunch more they're up to three, so they're doing good. And they're up to seven, so they're doing good. As long as we get a bunch more row, I'm fine. Egg, egg, egg. That's great. And fit, feed the chickens, get some eggs, get the row. Do we have enough money to upgrade the coop? If we have enough money to upgrade the coop, it's a Thursday, so I'm going to do that. If we have enough money to upgrade the coop, we're upgrading the coop. And if I haven't said upgrade the coop enough, here's one more time. We're going to upgrade the coop, hopefully, maybe. We're also going to get two purple mushrooms because purple mushrooms are fantastic. Iridium purple mushrooms, I should say. And more rocks, which is good. Um, the shed, the shed, check out the shed. Don't forget about doing the shed. If I get distracted for even 30 seconds, all plans go out the window. But yes, Robin did is this a tree we can cut down? It is. Get the heck out of here. I do not desire trees on my farm. 
It'll look good when it looks good when we have a bunch more money. But the speaking of looking good, this shed looks nice. Looks way better than any shed I've seen. Oh, on the inside, it looks very nice. Nice and clean. And Robin's here. And she's just been hanging out in the shed until I've stopped by. Hey, Din. So, what do you think? You may have seen new window panes on the roof. There's a great space to grow plants up there now. Wait, really? Is there? How do we get up there? Oh, I see a door. I couldn't have fixed it up without all your materials you gathered. I actually had a lot of fun and learned some new things. Like how to install batteries. The bottom floor would be great for aging wine. Okay, I was right about that. Casks. Well, enjoy the refurbished shed, Din. A place to grow crops, you say. Robin, does that mean what I think it means? I can't gr A small television. That's a really small television. Is there anything else? Gardening at home for experts. Soil preparation. While preparing gardens for vegetables or tomatoes, apply two and a half pounds of garden ton per 50 square feet and work into the top four to five inches of soil. Wow, this is um, not for me. We're not going to worry about that. One of Grandpa's old record books. Farm Manifest. Expenses, 121000 Income, nearly four, 400000 Profits for the 62nd quarter, 262 Vegetable seeds, 342 Fruit seeds, 342 Fruit trees, 16 Processing machines, 43 Wow. 150 kilograms of produce? Wow, Grandpa's a beast. Keg assembly instructions? Assemble top by drilling pocket holes as shown and screw together one and a fourth pocket hole screws. Wow, okay, apparently there's a lot of stuff. It's some of Stardew Valley expanded source code. Wow, we're probably not going to do anything with this. Okay, wow. A peek into the source code. Let's go upstairs. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is <laughs> this is part two of the greenhouse. Even before it's part one. This is great. Um, I am immensely pleased with that. Can we just? Oh, <laughs> this is going to be pretty sweet. Oh my god. It it looks like it's watered already. No, it's not. Okay, it's not watered, but. This is a new area for planting crops, which is fantastic. We now have area for the greenhouse. Oh, this is great. We're totally going to take advantage of this. We are moving. Oh, this is okay. Here's the plan. I'm going to take care of the rest of the hoeing uh, between cuts or between episodes, perhaps. I'll take care of this later. Uh, we don't actually have anything for this right now, but this is very nice. That is extremely nice that is oh, that's essentially a greenhouse that is essentially a greenhouse people and that is going to be just absolutely phenomenal let's move uh this mini obelisk and we, it's not like we're a f it's not like we're really far off getting the actual greenhouse we're really not that far off all things considered we just need a few more bits of row and then we'll be good where do we want to put this? We can put this, honestly, right next to the greenhouse. And then we can go right back to the house. Oh, that is nice. Oh, Grandpa's shed is going to pay off big time, I think. Oh, that's good. That's very good. So that's nine rows. So we just need six more. Oh, excuse me. Which shouldn't take that long, all things considered. All right, so if we had any other plans, I've already forgotten them. <laughs> I have already forgotten. What do we want to do? Um, Mining and farming, I can't really do much. Do we want to fish? Not really. Um, Iridium and coal. Armoranth. Um, does Pierre sell Armoranth in fall? If Pierre sells Ar- wait. Is there anything in the keg right now? There's something in the keg. If there's nothing in the... Next time, there's nothing in the keg. I'm going to put... 
uh, one of our hops into the keg because Pam wants pale ale, so might as well focus on doing that at some point. But does Lewis, not Lewis, does, um, what's his face? Wait, we have $10,000. Don't think about things. Don't think about anything except buying the backpack. Don't think, don't think, buy something. Buy the backpack. Nice, we got the backpack. Thank you, Marlin. Probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Armoranth. Uh, we'll buy an armoranth for Marnie. And nothing else. That's actually pretty convenient. I didn't think to do that earlier, but we did. Armoranth, uh, Pale Ale, Skull Key. Uh, yeah, okay, let's put this Armoranth right in the ground. And then we can deal with that. Uh, that's good. Uh, that greenhouse, that, that, gr that shed, I should say. It's not a greenhouse, it's a shed. But it's real nice, though. It's real nice. Um, I should definitely put this in the ground right there i it's one crop the water so it's fine i didn't check how long it, it's supposed to take to grow but hopefully it's less than 10 days because it ends on the 28th all right here is what we're going to do um i don't think we have to do anything for the mine at the moment um, it's the last episode, it's the last day of this particular thing. It's not a Friday, so there's no point in going down there. Maybe I should just focus on cleaning and preparing the shit. No, I, st I stick with what I said. I'll do that between episodes. Today is going to be fishing. You know, yep, I said it, and, and once I say it, it's spoken into law. I'm going to be doing a bunch of fishing today. So where do we want to fish? We want to fish. You know what? I'm I can't believe I'm going to try this, but I'm going for that lava eel. Floor 100. I'm going for the lava eel. <laughs> I'm only level 8 with a sh terrible rod. You know what? <laughs> saying it saying it like that is just um I'll go until I get one one lava eel. I'll give it one lava eel attempt, and if I don't catch it, I'm going outside and fishing in the mountain lake, because that has decent fish. So, I'll see you after a metric butt-ton of trash. Oh, got it. Okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't play this game. Don't play this game with me, lava eel. I will get you. And I've lost you. Yep, that's about what I was expecting. <laughs> Well, it didn't take that long to actually find it, but, I mean, didn't catch it. Which, I mean, again, about what I was expecting. Oh! Oh, we do actually get something with the bombs! Glad we came up here, then. These bombs are in exceptional condition. Thank you for your service, Din. A wizard from Castle Village is arriving here any moment now to retrieve them. This is all expanded. Jadu or Jade Jadu? Greetings, Marlin and friends. Oh, Gil is just asleep. Pleased to make your acquaintance again, Jadu. The bombs you came for are ready, courtesy of Din here, who created them. Allow me to expect inspect them. I like this music. It's very uh wizardy. Hmm. Yes, these bombs will serve Castle Village's vanguard quite well. Impeccable craftsmanship, thank you. It rivals Bex's work. High praise, I think. I'll be careful in the transport. Uh, it's very volatile. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. No problem. Anytime. If you're paying eight grand, I will gladly help whenever you want. Follow me to my quarters. I want to show you something. Please let it be a sewer key. What is it? This order ledger has been collecting dust for a long time. Maybe you'll find some use for it. I can now use the Adventurer's Guild letter ledger to order new decorations? Keep up the great work, Din. What kind of decorations? Oh, now I am intensely curious. And I am also curious about the dust sprites. 422. 78 more dust sprites. But what about the ledger? 
I have to use my mouse for this, don't I? Not the fishing rod. Yes, I do. Iridium skull lamp post. It's made of pure iridium, provides light. 40 grand? Wow, adventurer gear. Two pairs of boots and a small dagger. Wood barrel. <laughs> Large wood barrel left. A decorative piece for your farm. It's cut precisely down the middle. It is cut perfectly, sliced down the middle to show you the power of flex seal. We sawed this barrel in half, perfectly in half. And then here's the other half, a little machine, decorative piece for your farm, a coal box, wood crate, moving box, log pile, tide log, potted plant, empty pot. Interesting. Well, I don't have the money to buy any of this, but it's certainly useful, I suppose. You know what, because we're so close to getting those dust sprites, I'm going back in the mines and I'm, <laughs> I'm doing more dust sprites. Just a little bit further, just a little bit more, and then we'll have that burglar's ring, and that'll be fantastic. So, um, again, unless anything interesting happens, like a bunch of iron like this, but uh, no one cares about the iron. <laughs> we have so much of it already. Either way, I'm going to uh, montage the heck out of this and then show you anything interesting as long as that is actually deserving of being shown why couldn't you be green why or yellow i need the yellow one i need the yellow one of those stupid scrolls the burglar ring will help with that i suppose all right i'm <laughs> enough chat show us the montage okay i'm here in an infested floor i'm clearing clearing it up a bunch of dust sprites are here <laughs> it's 120 so i do want to Get this one last dust sprite because every one of them counts. We're going to pass out. Crystal fruit. All right, it, we have 20 minutes. Can we get? Can we get to the house? All right. Uh, if uh, get to the house really quickly. Bus stop. All right. Uh, I'm wrapping up the episode. So uh, pretty good episode. We got the shed. That's fantastic. We're probably going to pass out. And if we pass out, say la vie. But if we don't, I'll see you guys next time. So whether you watch for 30 seconds or the entire thing, oh no, we passed out. What an unfortunate thing to have happened either way uh, let's see is it raining no it's not raining well you get might as well look at what we got we got a bomb a, a second blue dwarf scroll and some refined quartz either way that was it that was it for today it was a good episode i do say so myself we tried and we failed to get the lava eel but i really wasn't expecting it so either way now i can do a proper outro so whether you watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time later